Okay, so mm, we got to talk a lecture a little bit because I want you to really get it. So, which is aerobic uh, respiration, the whole process and the ATP calculation. Okay, so let's do one more time. We go from here. What is this? Glucose. If you already know, please just to keep quiet a little bit. Because I bet going to say somebody doesn't know yet. Okay. This is glucose. The first step. And then go here. We become glucose 6 phosphates. Now, what's the difference right here? The difference right here is this H, okay? O, P. This is glucose 6 phosphates. Okay, then we go down, become what? Isomerization. So, very simple. This is isomerization. It becomes something like this. Still 6 carbon. Okay, but a little bit different. So what we have, what we have. This is isomerization, which means the chemical has been the same, but molecular weight also the same, the structure is different. Okay, then go here. I'm just going to write on this top. What are we going to become? Okay, you're going to add a four switch right there. So, basically it looks very similar. But you add one more phosphate. Okay. Can you please do not chat there? Because I just want to make sure everybody got this. If you know, it's okay. Okay. And honestly, you should know. Okay, what is this? Will you see the two phosphates there? This is group. Close one six five phosphates. Okay, this is the whole stage six carbon area. Six carbon area. Where does this glucose comes from? The where is this group? Uh, this glucose six phosphates goes. Where is that one have? Where the phosphates come from? Of course, there is an ATP. Hydrolyze become ADP and phosphates. Okay, when you go here, this is isomerization, nothing happens. How come this guy had 165 phosphates? Where is another phosphate comes from? Of course, here is another ATP. Hydrolyze become ADP and phosphates. Okay, so start from here. This guy going to do something. Okay, so we're gonna write one by one. We go down. It's gonna be a chain, a branch. Go then, go this way. Okay. First of all, what become this? What is this? July zero behind three phosphates. Okay, then you go down.
What is this one? One, three, five, phosphoglycerate. Okay. Then we'll just write one here. Okay. C O O H C H O H C H two O P. What is this? Three phosphoglycerate. Okay, right here. Then we go top. We go here. Okay. So we move up. It will become two phosphoglycerate. Two phosphoglycerate. Okay, then so we go down here. So come what? Phosphophenol pyruvate. Okay, then you go down. Primary. Pyrovate. Okay. This is end with glycolysis. Okay. So how many ATP we're gonna have? Go here. This is happens when NAD reduced to NAD H2. Okay. Three, one, three, five phosphoglycerate to three phosphoglycerate. What happened? This is when ADP becomes ATP. Okay. Then you go here. You go here. What happened? How come this? Phosphate stuff. This is another ADP and the phosphates becomes ATP. Okay, and then you don't forget there could be a transition step is right here. That could become CH2OH CH2OP. What is this step for? It's a transition step. Di Hydroxyacetone phosphates. Okay? This is end with glycolysis. So, how many ATP we can do? Here is minus two ATPs. When you add up here, you have three ATPs here, one here, and one here, and two lines. So will be three ATPs, add two ATPs, and then multiply by two, this equals 10 ATPs. Since it's hydrolyzed to two right here, so you add up them together, add up these together, that equals eight ATPs. Okay, then this is pyruvate. Okay, the pyruvate we're gonna go here. Do the circle, okay? So we pyruvate. Okay, pyruvate. First of all, is a transition step. Acidone coenzyme A. Then we're gonna draw a circle, okay? So what we're gonna do? Citric acid. Go here. Isocitric acid. Okay, isomerization. Then we go here. Alpha keto glutarate. Then we want here. That's called 
so si nail co a then go flat become su si nate then go right here become fu ma rate then go from the top become ma late and then here which is oxo lo acetate then we go back okay so we're gonna put the structure there and I said the structure is not difficult at all because the key we need to know what is citric acids if you know citric acids is not difficult if you don't know then go ahead to study by yourself and find it this is citric acid so what is isocitric acid hydroxy go down okay so go to here so this is going to be H C okay what is alpha keto glutarate Alpha keto glutarate. When you go here, what is succinyl CoA? Okay, what is succinyl? Then what is fumarate? Okay, go to the top. What is malate? What is oxaloacetate? What is called citric acid cycle? Okay, then how many ATP comes out? This transition step. Okay, okay, sorry. This is one more thing we need to add. The transition step, this step have one NAD reduced to NAD. H2. Okay? This is isomerization, nothing happens. Here, NAD reduced to NAD H2. Of course, it's released carbon dioxide. Okay, here also gonna happen. NAD reduced to NAD H2 at the carbon dioxide. This is substrate level of phosphorylation. So GDP becomes GTP. This right here, I said this is go, lose the saturated, become unsaturated, what's gonna happen? This is FAD reduced to FAD H2. Okay, go here, nothing happens. Because this is unstable, so and you're gonna be out of water. So it becomes malate. And, and the last one we also happen is NAD becomes NAD H2. Okay, because you're gonna put water back. Or you got you're gonna put some uh, water back. So how many ATP? This is three ATPs right here. Okay? Three ATPs right here. And the three ATPs right here. And the one ATP is right <coughs> here. And then two ATP is right here. And on the top, it is three ATPs. So you add up them together, what you have? Three ATPs multiple by one, two, three, four. Multiple by four. Add two ATPs, then one, two ATPs. And add one substrate level phosphorylation. This is equal to 15 ATPs. And remember, we have two 
pyrovates. So overall, we multiply by two. This is equal to 30 ATPs. And then we add up them together. These two, you add up them together, equal to 38 ATPs. OK. So that's the whole picture. Now, you go back. I just did it right here. I may miss something. So I go back to check something that may not be correct. Three phosphate glycerate. Let me go back to check is that correct? May not be may not be correct. Okay? Looks like I'm okay, I'm still remember. Phosphophenol pyruvate looks fine, it's fine. That's what you're gonna do. Every day in the morning, grab a piece of bread and your sandwich, do this. Okay, how many extra points can we calculate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, so it's it's how many? Sorry. Uh, Twenty. Multiple by one point five. That's thirty points. This is extra points. Okay. Even if you said that you're not gonna remember the chemicals, you got how many? Ten points. Is that right? If you do mess up, you at least you know what is glucose. Is that right? You at least know what is pyruvate. Is that right? You at least you still remember citric acids, is that right? You can do iso citric acid, just switch it. And maybe acidal coa you still remember. You can get some. At least everybody get like roughly 12, 15 points, is that right? Even if you're lazy. <laughs> so that's a good bit makeup plus ATP structure. And I'm gonna mention question. How did you get the ATPs from the Okay, very good. That's a good question. The first question, the first thing, that means you haven't looked at my video yet. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> because I mentioned in the class, it's confusing. This is glycolysis, is that right? I'm assuming you're maybe biochemistry major. All your textbook is right to ATPs, is that right? Because, they are not considering this guy right here. They think it is separate. When you talk about glycolysis, it's an individual pathway. They are not related to anything. So this guy is not going to be involved in the complete aerobic respiration, which means they are not related to the electron transport channel. So we don't consider about this guy. If you take that 66 points, then, how many you get? You get two ATPs. Now, these two ATPs, where they come from? They coupled with fermentation. That's where the fermentation two ATPs goes. Okay, so that's a very good question. Okay, so, clear? That's what I mentioned in the video. Okay, so go back to look at it. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you one thing. Uh, November 11th, or what, because I think November, yeah, November 11th, our exam three, I will cancel the lab. You have the whole morning to remember. It doesn't matter, you can forget about it after exam, it's okay. I just want you to get it, because you know this is important, you're gonna learn it again. So Jessica, you go to dietitian program, go to advanced nutrition, you're gonna learn it again. I'm telling you. You go to medical school, you go advanced molecular microbiology, whatever it is, you lay it, lay it again. May not be this detail, but you're gonna touch it again. So why you not just spend some extra time, even if you're so busy, I give you a whole morning from six o'clock until 11, you still can remember it. Okay, so that's, that's the deal. I wanna help you to do a good job. Okay, so this, I hope everybody just uh,